Hello, and welcome back to the Final Fantasy IX level 99 grind. I am Circle Master, and I've been sick, and I'm sitting here at 9.30 at night, sweating bullets. But I better grind. So here I am. And part of the reason is that I can tell you that my new chair arrived, and I spent the better part of the day slowly assembling it with one good arm and what I'm hoping are not fever sweats. And now I have a proper chair to sit on again. And it doesn't even squeak. You can't even hear it. I I'm moving around, but you can't hear it. So you'll, <coughs> you'll have to forgive me if I don't talk much. Also, if you are a new subscriber from the Detroit Become Human video that I put up with my sister, uh, you can feel free to turn this off, but uh, I will say that uh, next video for that is planning to be Wednesday. So uh, don't unsubscribe, please, but uh, you can go ahead and skip this unless you really care about the thing that I'm otherwise famous for, which was uh, leveling to 99 in the starting area of Final Fantasy VII. Like, if you Google Circle Master, that's what you'll see. 
it, it's gonna be like the first five results probably is gonna be related to that so that's kind of what I'm famous for and since doing that I did the same thing again in eight which was really quick and easy and then Final Fantasy Tactics, which was even quicker and easier. And those were all PlayStation 1 games. You know, all of the Final Fantasies for the PlayStation 1. Except this one. So, now I'm doing this one. But, this one is going to take forever. And a big recurring comment... I said I wasn't going to talk a lot, and here I'm talking a lot... I said, uh, or a big recurring problem at the time, not problem, comment, sorry, I've been sick, please forgive me. A big recurring comment for that Final Fantasy VII thing was, we just see the end, he could have cheated, he could have used Game Shark or whatever to just get to the end and then film the end, and therefore he's a filthy cheater. I didn't do that, obviously. But just to head that off at the pass, because this is going to be so much longer even than that was, I decided I'm going to stream the whole thing and it's all going to go on YouTube. And nobody will be able to accuse me of skipping to the end because there will be... 2,500 hours of video here documenting it. So, here I am. But anyway, this is kind of a side thing to the Let's Plays. If I was a smart person, I would have made a side channel for this, probably. But on the other hand, the reason that my channel became popular at all was the Final Fantasy VII thing. That thing got, like, close to half a million views. So it didn't really seem right to shunt that to the side channel. So anyway... The, the upshot is, I do do Let's Plays. I've got one for Late Shift going right now, which is an FMV game with actors in it, if you like acting. Obviously, I'm doing Detroit Become Human. But, you know, in the shadow of all the Let's Plays, I do this. I try to do it every day. When I'm sick, I obviously can't do it every day. I probably shouldn't even be doing it right now. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, so if all you care about is Valerie, feel free to turn this off, don't unsubscribe, uh, More Detroit Become Human is coming next week, probably Wednesday. But you don't have to watch this, and I encourage you not to watch this. Anyway, that whole rant was for the YouTube audience that is going to not watch this VOD. But this is live streamed on Twitch, and nobody watches it on Twitch except a couple of diehard fans who I appreciate.
Cameron Fagan is now hosting me for some reason. How's it going, gamer? I have good news and bad news. The good news is my new chair is here and I'm sitting on it and it does not squeak. The bad news is I have been sick for several days and I feel terrible. And I've been sweating at night, which might mean I have a fever. But when I went to the doctor on Tuesday, I didn't have a fever at that point. And I hope that I'm not getting a fever. I hope that it's just, you know, warm in my apartment. No, it's my sinuses, I think. Im I almost don't... Like, it's either a sinus issue or allergies. I hope it's not allergies because if it's something that's in Minnesota that I'm allergic to that I was not aware of having lived in California my whole life. I'm going to be even more miserable here than I already am. I used to live in SoCal. I lived my whole life in SoCal. And then... Uh, right around the new year, I... moved to Minnesota for a new job. And Minnesota's not great, honestly. The weather sucks. I, whoever says the Four Seasons are great is an idiot because California has springtime all year, and that's awesome. And now I'm stuck in a place where there were blizzards in April, and it's going to be summer with mosquitoes and humidity. And then it's going to be snowing again. California... Everybody complains about earthquakes in California. You know what? You can build a building to withstand an earthquake. Y you can't build... to withstand... you know terrible snowstorms. You still have to drive on the highway in the snow and risk dying. You... Uh... So yeah, I... was a cashier at Target. I hurt my shoulder can't be a cashier anymore, ended up getting a job at the corporate office here in Minnesota in the call center. And the job is fine. I have no complaints about that. I have complaints about where the job is located. I, I wouldn't say I would feel wealthy because... You know, I have an apartment, I have a good internet connection, and I have... What else? Nothing else. <laughs> I, I don't want to pay a cable bill, so I don't have any TV other than a crappy antenna. 
I have a car that I'm afraid of every day will break down because it has been in, you know, dry, calm, sunny California weather its whole life, and now I'm subjecting it to the worst. Oh, the, oh my goodness, I cannot find any good, like, Chinese food around here. The, the... I, I really miss the food scene in California, too, because Southern California, there's all kinds of cuisine around, and it's almost all great. You know, there's great Mexican food because you're close to Mexico, and there's great Asian food because there's a lot of Asian immigrants and communities in California. You know, <coughs> and of course there's great Americana food because, of course there is. And there was even a great southern barbecue place in California that I loved, my parents loved, and we would go as often as I could justify it. And... And I've not been able to find nearly any of that since I moved. But I have gotten food poisoning a couple times from questionable local places. Oh yeah, there are Asian people here. But for whatever reason... Like, even... There's a chain out here called Lian Chin. Or Lian Chins. And it is like a hundred times worse than the chains in California, like Panda Express. I can't find Panda Express out here. Instead we have Lian Chin, and it's garbage. It's literal garbage food. Uh... So yeah, I don't... So yeah, I would really like this job to not be in Minnesota. Also, the highways here are terrible. The highways here are badly designed. East of that. I didn't deal with the 101 or the 405. I drove on like the 91 and the 5. Which aren't terrible. But I mean, just even that, there's a difference between the traffic being bad and the actual design and layout of the freeways being bad. Like, so many interchanges here are on really tight. 25 mile per hour turns going into like or out of 65 mile per hour straightaways and you have like a hundred yards to make that transition it is frightening every time you try to do one of these if there is any traffic at all
No. I will hit level 99 in about three and a half years. Well, I hope you also feel better, Gamer Big Dragon. Please. Please send help. Also, I forgot to say the bad thing that I was thinking of saying because. Because I'm also sick and it completely left my mind until now, but oh well.
Why am I still so hot?
feel like I'm gonna pass out, and all I've been doing is sitting here. That's gonna do it. For tonight, anyway. Thanks, Gamer McVagan, for joining me. I will be back.
hopefully tomorrow night. I kind of regret doing this. But I needed to. In any case, hopefully when I come back, he'll join me. And until then, take care.